Hi, this is Kelly from Peteca Kelly and Play, Learn, Talk. And in this tutorial, I'm going to let you watch me create. So if you are a new creator and you've ever wished that you could just, I don't know, watch a more experienced creator create, this is the video for you. So make sure you can set aside 10, 15 minutes, maybe even 20 minutes to watch me create this reveal a hidden picture deck. Okay, this is a really popular thing right now, super fun to use with students. And I think it would be a great addition of a skill in your tool belt for creating cards. Okay. So if you're excited about this, make sure to give this video a like or let me know in the comments below that this is something you're excited to learn how to make, okay? So today we're going to learn how to make a grid of nine pictures that cover up a larger mystery picture. I'm gonna give you a tip on how to align them neatly using a tool inside the Boom Workstation. Um, I wish I knew about that tool way earlier because it really is gonna save you so much time. So once again, if you're excited for tips like that, make sure to give this video a like, all right? I'm also gonna show you how to make an item disappear. We are gonna be using um, you know, draggable items and clickable items, so we're gonna be marking accuracy. This is a little bit of a tricky deck, um, but do not get discouraged. It's something that you can easily figure out. You may have to watch the video a couple times, um, but I really encourage you to set aside, like I said, 15, 20 minutes where you can be really focused on this video, pause it when you need, take notes when you need. Um, if you're interested in having an outline of this video, like a written outline, leave a comment below or message me on Pateka Kelly. Uh, over at Instagram. I'm considering creating an outline since it's kind of a tricky deck. So just make sure you let me know that's something that you would like. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and look at this page. Then we're going to go into the Boom Workstation and code it all together. All right. So we have our instructions at the bottom, reveal the hidden picture, click on each present until you find the one that's ready to go into Santa's toy bag. So how are they going to know that there's one present that's ready? Well, when they click on them, they're going to get either negative feedback or positive feedback. Okay, this is the one with positive feedback. Now you'll notice when you click on these here, they become a little bit transparent, revealing a little bit of the picture, right? So it's just making it a little enticing, um, you know, for the students of whoever's using this, right? So um, we're going to click on this one it's going to mark it as accurate and proceed us to the next page. So what I've done there is I've linked it. Um, this is a flow magic deck, so we're going to be doing that, okay? So now when we get to this page, we still have all clickable items except for this one. This one is now draggable and the background has revealed a portion of the picture, okay? So now the instructions have also changed. Drag the present to Santa's toy bag. After you've placed the gift in Santa's toy bag, click on another present to find the one that's ready to go, okay? So we're going to bring this over and drop it in the toy bag and it disappears behind, okay? So if you're excited to learn this, once again, please give this video a like. I'm gonna give you a lot of tips and tricks that are gonna make your cards really amazing, I hope at least, right? So let's go into the workstation now. All right, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. So you'll see here, I have already imported my backgrounds. These are all the same backgrounds. There's two versions, okay? So I have this version here, reveal the hidden picture, and then I have drag the present. So what I've done is I've taken the time to import each of them. I've imported them as new cards from images. I made these in Keynote. It took me about two hours to make them um, when it comes down to collecting the pictures and all the modifications of things, okay? So um, leave a comment below and let me know how long it's currently taking you to make uh, backgrounds and if you'd like any tips on speeding that up or in a certain program. As most of you know, I use Keynote, but I am always open to learning new things if I can be helpful for you guys, so let me know, okay? All right, so I've imported the backgrounds. And what we're going to learn how to do first is make these pictures, okay? So these are uh, clip art pieces that I've imported in, but we want to have a nice way of actually aligning all nine of them, okay? Um, so we are going to, let's see, pretend like we don't have those pages because those are just my model for you. Okay. Um, all right, so we're going to go to this first page. We're going to ignore these, okay? Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to use the multi-pick tool as a guide. Okay, so right now we have a grid of four photo options, so two by two. If you come down to container properties, it says grid, and I want to have columns. I want them to be three. I want a grid of nine photos. Okay, so this is not quite right. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on these top two. I'm holding command, and then I hit command C on my keyboard, command V, and it's given me two additional ones. So now we just need 
three more. Command C, Command V, and that looks good. Okay, so we're going to move this up using this tail here, and then I'm going to size it down. Oops, my draggable image <laughs> just moved. Okay, so there are a lot of working parts on this page, so I'm just going to have to be careful where I am grabbing, right? Okay, so that looks good. They're covering up the area. We're not going to use this tool itself. We're just using it as a guide. So be careful not to double click here. We are not doing that yet. I'm also going to point out that details, I have it set to flow magic. All right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to grab an image. Okay. I'm going to grab one of the presents and I'm going to bring it up and then I am going to size it down. All right. Oops. And grab that again. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm going to size this down to fit over my guide. All right, so that looks good. I'm going to change the background to white because it's going to make it much easier for me to see. And we want it to be a solid background anyways. OK, so now the trick that we're going to use to speed up our import time, this is another really useful tip, um, is you're going to just do Command C, Command V. Oops, let's see. Command C, Command V, okay, and we're copying it because it's keeping the same proportions that we just spent our time, you know, matching, okay, or making sure that it matches, okay, so our alignment's a little off, I'm going to use my arrow key on my keyboard, and I'm going to do Command C, Command V, bring this down, and Command C, Command V again, I'm going to ignore that little, little memo, the boom cards are worried that I have too many on here, okay, Command C, Command V, all right, so you can either eyeball the alignment or you can come over it and use the alignment tool over here. Okay, but I think these look pretty good. I think these just need to be tabbed over a little bit. Okay, that looks really good to me. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on all of them. Okay, oops, <laughs> keep clicking off over here. And then I'm going to do Command C and I'm going to delete them. Okay, so now the reason I deleted them is so I can delete this because we don't need this anymore. Okay, so now I'm going to click on the page, do command V. Okay, and I'm going to move them all at one time because they're grouped together. So if you liked either of those tips, once again, please give this video a like. All right, so we have our photos here. Now we want them all to be marked with accuracy. We're going to make them all wrong. Okay, because it's saving us time to mark them all wrong at once. And then we're just going to select one to be accurate. Okay, so we'll make this one correct. And then what we're going to do, this is another time saving tip. We're going to double click on the picture and quickly swap out the photos. Okay, so this one's fine. Let's go ahead and grab our photos. So I've already imported these to save time on this video. So you would have to go and upload them. Okay, just one extra little step. And three more to go. And one last one. Um, in an activity like this, I like having a variety of pictures because it just creates a language rich environment for students. Um, you know, I always use my cards during speech therapy, so I like that there's so much vocabulary represented here. So um, just something to consider when you're making yours, okay? So now we have all of our pictures. All of them are marked wrong except for one of them. The one that is marked correct, we are going to link. And that's why it was important that we needed to go to details and mark it as flow magic. Okay, so if you didn't do that, make sure you do that or, you know, note it down on your notepad. Okay, so this one, we're going to link it to the next page. This is also why it's important to um, put your, your cards out ahead of time. It's just going to be very systematic and it's going to save you a headache. It's still going to be a complicated game, but it's going to save you time. So we're going to link it over here. Okay. So now we have all clickable items and we have one that is marked correct. Okay. So we're going to take all of these presents, click on them again. Okay. Do command C and I'm going to just as a safeguard, I'm going to put them on this page. So we have extra cards. Okay. Um, we'll have to remember that they're all marked you know, with an accuracy. We're also going to make them draggable and give them transparent backgrounds because later we're going to have to do that anyway. So we're going to save ourselves time. Okay. So this is just going to be our extra thing. Um, all right. So we're going to come over here and click on the page command V. They come in the exact placement, which is wonderful. Okay. Now on this card, the instructions are different. It says drag the present to Santa's toy bag. So one has to be draggable. One has to be correct and the rest have to be incorrect. So we're going to click on this one. 
this one, oh no, you guys, I have to plug in my computer. Um, okay, so this one needs to, hold on one second. Um, okay, so this one needs to be, I just lost my train of thought. This one needs to have the link removed, okay? So we're gonna go to link two, click on it, and put no link. It does not need to be linked anymore. The background needs to be transparent, okay? And we wanna make it draggable. We also want to make sure that our draggable item here is going to be the topmost layer. So we're gonna bring it to the front, okay? We'll ignore this. Okay, all right, so now we have the draggable item. All of them are incorrect, okay? Um, I'm just gonna do this to be really systematic. We're marking them all wrong. Okay, they were all wrong anyways, okay? And now we just want one correct. So let's make this the one that's correct. We know it's correct, it changed there. Okay, and this one now needs to be linked, okay? Before we link it, I'm going to grab all of them, except for this one, Command C. Click off of it. Now I'm gonna link this one to the next, uh, next page, right? Okay, so I'm gonna link it over to this page here. All right, then I'm gonna come over to this page and do Command V, all right? So this one is linked, this one has disappeared, okay? and they're all clickable so that should be fine okay so now I'm going to go to this page here and let's see this one doo -doo -doo. okay so I need to yeah go like this okay now I'm going to click on this one I'm going to make the background transparent and I'm going to make it draggable okay so that one's good okay so now I need to have a correct answer let's make it this one we're going to mark it correct and then we're going to link it to the next page. Okay, so let's go ahead and link it to this next one. And I'm gonna scroll down. Okay, so now I want to click on all of them. Okay, Command C. And let's see, this one. Okay, so this one needs to be, okay, this one was linked correct, so it would move it to this page. This one we need to make the background transparent and we need to make it draggable and we need to get rid of the link. So no link. Okay, so we're gonna get all of these here. Command C. We do need to designate a new new one. So let's make this this one. We'll link it to the next card. Okay, and oops, okay, hold on, let's go back. I need to mark a correct one. Okay, so this one needs to be marked correct and it's linked. Okay, good. Okay, so Command B. All right, so now this one we need to do transparent, okay? And the next step, um, this would be a good time to be writing it down, right? So transparent and then what's the next thing we need to do? We need to make it draggable, okay? And then we need to make sure they're all incorrect, right? So this is incorrect, 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 incorrect. Now we need one correct. So we'll make this one correct and we're going to uh, copy them, okay, and then we're going to link this purple one to the next page. All right, and we're going to, oops, go to the next page, copy them here. Okay, so now this one, we need to make it draggable, which automatically takes off that correct wrong, okay. Then we need to make it transparent. Okay, I'm, I know I'm doing it in a different order. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, and then let's go ahead and designate this one as correct. And we're going to grab all of them, Command C. And then we're going to mark this one as linked to the next page, okay? All right, if you guys are enjoying this video, please give it a like. It means a lot to me, okay? Um, all right, so this one here, we need to now make this one, let's see. Oh, uh, guys. Oh, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> it's a long day. Okay, so this one is linked. So that means this one needs to be draggable. Okay, and then it needs to be transparent. And, okay, so draggable, transparent. So the next thing we need to do is mark this one is correct. Okay, and then we're gonna copy all of them, Command C, and this one we need to link it 
to the next card. Okay, so we're gonna link it to this one. Uh, all right, so this one's correct. This is wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna make this one draggable. We're going to do transparent. Okay, and then let's make this one correct. Grab both of these. And this one now needs to be draggable and transparent. And this one needs to be correct. Okay. So now we'll move this one to this page. And we're going to make it draggable and transparent. Okay, so this is the end of everything, right? Um, okay, so that's going to go in. So the other thing I'm going to mention is I want to make sure this is the front for all of them. I think it is already programmed to do so, but I'm going to double check it and just go through all of them, okay, and make sure it's on the front, okay? I feel like the more you double check before you, you publish it, the less you have to worry about, right? So it's just all all done. It should be like that anyway, so you shouldn't be publishing anything until it's all tested. All right, so undo for last edit. Okay, so the card's like, oh, this is too much. It's okay. It can, it can support this. Um, all right, so let's just, we're going to play the whole thing and see if it works. Okay. Um, on the last page, um, this one right here, let's see, I'm probably going to, I'll do it right now. So um, actually I can't do it on this page, right? Because, um, I won't have anything to progress me to that page. So here I actually want to create, um, let's do a fill in the blank. Okay. I'm going to do a fill in the blank so that, um, the person using this has now the opportunity to, um, describe this picture. Okay. So I wanted to fit into this grid. I didn't think about this when I was creating it. Um, in Keynote, that's okay, I can do it here. So I'm going to come over to my border and I'm going to adjust the radius. Let's see if it changes the shape of it. I've not ever, oh, there we go, it did work, okay. I was going to say I haven't tried that with um, with uh, fill in the blank before. So I think I'll have to just play around with it and see. Okay, that works. So I basically just want to cover up the existing text that I have, okay and center it as best as possible. The background color is already set to white, okay? And then I want to make it so that um, it is an open response and I want to allow for multi-line and like, I don't know, maybe we'll make it size 22. And that should be that, okay? So I'll probably go back in at the end and do like an end button. So let's go ahead and test it out. All right, so we're gonna go to preview. All right, so these all should be marked as incorrect. Okay, so there's our correct one. This should be draggable, it should disappear. Okay, now we need to go and find the other one. There it is. So now, oh, look right here. So this one, good thing we did this, right? <laughs> okay, so this one, um, all right, so it's our second one. Okay, so this one is correct. It links to the next page. This one needs to be transparent. I don't know how I missed it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make it transparent. We're gonna make it draggable, okay? And let's go from, oh, and then I need another correct answer, okay. Oh, this might have just thrown a wrench into everything. Uh, oh, maybe that was just an extra page. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, let's go look. All right, so this is the correct one. Okay, we can drag it in. This is the correct one. We can drag it in. Okay. There's the correct one. We can drag it in. Oh, it did not drag in. Okay, guys. <laughs> All right, lots to fix on here. Okay, so let's go down. We need to find the one that's this one, this one, this one. Let's make Z order. We'll bring it front. Okay. All right, this one <laughs> can drag in. No, what's going on? Oh no, guys. Okay, so this one. Ah, uh, is it not draggable? No, it is draggable. Okay, is this one not? This one's not draggable. Okay. 
All right. Okay, so we're back on this page. Okay, let's make a draggable. There we go, it's draggable. So now we need to find the next correct one. Where are you? There it is. Okay, this one should be draggable, disappeared. Thank God, okay. All right, so we'll move on. It's that one right there. It's draggable. Oh no, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you know what, I think on these pages I didn't mark them as draggable. That was the problem. Oh, this is back to the other page, okay. I wish that when you came off of the last page, it would just take you to that in the workstation, but okay. Um, all right, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just make sure all of them. <laughs> if you guys are still watching, that's amazing. <laughs> All right. Um, let me know if you're still watching through this painful part. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's do a Z order front. This is draggable. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just go through and make sure that they're all draggable. So this one is not draggable. Okay. So draggable front. Okay. And let's make sure draggable. It is draggable. Okay. And this one is not draggable. Okay. So I must have copied a page that did not have it as draggable. That has to be what it was because it's every other. Yep, that's what it was. Okay, so this game should work now. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. So I'm going to start from, I won't start from the beginning, but let's just go to this one right here. Okay. All right. So I think it was this one that's the correct one. It is. This should be draggable. Disappear. Yay. Okay. We need the correct one. It's that one. That should be draggable. It goes inside, great. Okay, that one, this should be draggable. Perfect, that's the correct one. Ooh, we did not link it to the next page, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and link that one. That's totally fine. <laughs> this is why we're testing it, right? So we linked it. Okay, so let's go ahead and double check that this one, we didn't link this one either. Um, I didn't link it. Sorry, I'm like blaming you guys. <laughs> I didn't link it. Okay, so preview. All right, so this one is draggable. It disappears. There we go. This one's draggable. And this one should take us to the next card. It does. So now we should be able to um, say, you know, uh, the hidden picture is a dog sleeping by the Christmas tree. Okay. Um, I might change this font, make it a little bit larger, and then I'm going to add on some end buttons and also like a navigation page. Okay. But this is the entire thing. Thank you so much for watching the whole thing. I went over three minutes on the time I promised, but it's because I had, you know, a few troubleshooting issues. So, um, so if you have to spend a lot of time, you know, correcting your decks, no, you're not alone. I've been doing this for about I think, I think a little over a year now. I think I started last November, um, and I still make mistakes. So don't ever think that you don't need to go back and double check them, okay? Um, that's always just a good habit to get into. Um, all right, I will see you in the video tomorrow. Once again, if you enjoyed this, give it a like, share it with someone who would also find it useful. And if you would like to have that outline, uh, make sure to leave a comment or reach out to me on Instagram at Pateka Kelly because that will be time consuming to make. I'm happy to do it for you guys, but not if no one wants it. <laughs> so make sure you let me know. All right, guys. Bye.